Hi YouTubers, James here and welcome to another video from JJ Model Making. The channel has reached a significant milestone, reaching 100 subscribers. I want to thank all of you who have supported the channel so far, your interest in my model making and all the comments left. This means so much to me. Now that the channel has hit this milestone, I'm going to set a more regular release schedule for you. I'm going to try and release two videos a week. The first on a Wednesday, which will be content on the build that I'm currently working on, for example the Ticonderoga or the Atat. And the second will be published on Sundays and will be an entirely new playlist which I'm going to call From the Display Case, focusing on model kits that I've built in the past and others that I'm moving to the new channel. As a thank you for your continued support, here's a quick behind the scenes room tour. Hi guys, well as part of my 100 subscriber channel update video I thought I'd give you a quick room tour and show you what uh, other models I've got on the channel coming up soon. So up there we've got the Bismarck and the New Jersey. Bismarck is horrifically dusty, so I'm going to show you. Sorted Blu-ray collection and the Wanda 700 Nimitz. I want a six Darth Moor, a couple of Iron Men. So War Machine and Mark Six Iron Man are different scale to the Mark. 38 Eagle here, but we can do a video on the build of him. It's part of the New York amphibious landing gear and helicopters. 3D printed lightsaber, another 3D printed lightsaber. And assorted Star Wars and Star Trek collectibles. Or Warhammer dude, I'm not sure what he's for. That that you're familiar with already. And then over here, so we've got the 1700 Kitty Hawk, 1700 Forest Hawk, 1350 Titanic, and some of the sci fi stuff. So I'm doing a video of him soon as well. The Fine Mold Millennium Falcon, Battlestar Galactica, there's Darkness Enterprise, TIE Fighter. And then the Star Destroyer that's in before until I work out where I'm going to put it full time. Coronado. New York in the background there, waiting to get finished. It's the Ticonderoga. The Illustrious being waterline gets its own shelf. And then down here, some of the future kits, I'm, they're half finished, half built over the years, so we're going to actually finish them. So all 1 to 350 scale. This one's actually from 1992, the Mark Challenger 1 Mark III. I built that back and then after the first Gulf War. And then a couple of others. This is an 8 ton half track. And then 88mm. That would say. So yeah, plenty to be getting on with. And then obviously the lightsabers. So thank you everyone for your continued support, 100 subscribers means so much to me, plenty more model kits to come so if you like what you've seen so far hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and um, I'll see you soon, thanks for watching, bye bye.